Okay, for the first lesson, we will be looking at the order of operations. It, it are the objectives for today's lessons is to use these order of operations to evaluate expressions. We, you will be working with numerical expressions and variable expressions that you have to plug values into. So when working with the order of operations, the way you've learned it in the past is the statement PEMDAS, the acronym PEMDAS, which means parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction. And you learned it by the phrase, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. The one thing you need to be careful with the further you go in math is the parentheses is not the only type of grouping symbol that's used. We also use brackets. So the first order of operation you want to do, the first operation are see if there's any grouping symbols and perform any operations inside of those first. Then you go to the exponents. And the other thing you need to be careful with is when you are working with multiplication division, you do it in order from left to right. And the reason why you do this is because multiplication division are inverse operations of each other. I can change multiplication into division by multiplying by a fraction, or I can change division into multiplication by dividing by a fraction. So since they're inverses of each other, it doesn't matter what um, you have to do them from left to right if that's what's in your problem. The last part is addition subtraction. That follows the same idea as what we learned with multiplication division. You do those in the order they appear from left to right. And it's for the same reason. I can turn addition into subtraction by adding a negative number. I can turn subtraction into addition by subtracting a negative number. So since they are inverses, we can do them in the order they appear from left to right. 